<laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Medusa's Lair. Medusa's Lair. Oh, you know what? I was checking. Um, thank you. Thank you, Miss Cheyenne. I'm calling you out, girl. Called you out. Yes, I did. I said your name on, on social media. Thank you so much for the shout out on TikTok. Someone had recommended us. Oh, nice. um, Yeah, so uh, I'm pretty sure everybody knows who Jasmine's Garden is. I love her. Love her. Um, and um, she was talking about like when you go into um, a spiritual shop, you should feel it. Yes. Your whole yes. vibe should change when you walk into the space. And it does like when Dee and Taja, when they'll do their prayers, the whole it's like the whole vibration of the shop, even the foundational vibration of the shop changes. It's just a woo. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so that's what Miss Jasmine was saying. When you go into a spiritual shop, you should feel that. And someone recommended us because of that. Yay! That is yeah. the best compliment. Okay, I did not mean to go down that rabbit hole. I'm sorry, that's not what this video is about. <laughs> um, this is our, we're doing a combo. <clears throat> because we're about to have um, Yule, the winter solstice, and then go right into um, 2024, the juiciness, ooh, juicy, juicy, marinate in the juiciness oh, and during the winter season and into that new year energy. And then for us here in New Orleans, we're going to be going into carnival season. Yes. Mighty um, Gras. Mighty Gras. So each of us is going to have some information for you on what to do, how to use this um, time of year for your highest good. All of our information here is, we're all about empowerment. We're not just going to tell you some pond scum foolishness. Um, we're going to dive deep and we're going to empower you. I don't know where that came from, y'all. So, um, who wants to go first? Do you mind? <laughs> no, go on. Okay, because I, I was already getting something. The energy for this year, it is very much sitting on the bench before the train leaves. It's going to be your year of reflection. It's very much what in, what have I learned in my life? What have I learned along my journey as I was in this body before I get on the train, before I go to my next stage of life, before I go to my next life, whether you're reincarnating or whatever. Just you are right now reflecting before you go on your journey. Going, I'll be right back. Okay. Taja, I want you to pull a card and see what 2024 holds for the people. Blood Angel. Okay, so for this year, I feel like you guys have already, you're already learned your lessons, but this It's the energy of like, you know what? This is all I've gone through. This is all I've worked through. And it's time to fully enjoy all of that I've gathered for my life. This is the year of reflection for you before you finally board the train, before you finally get onto it. So before I conclude this reading, I would like to read a short little roomy poem that is attached to this card. Okay, so you guys got Blunt Angel. And here, I'll show you the imagery too. Oh, I love this deck. Okay. So for Blood Angel, in the midst of the darkness, a moon appeared with its brilliance. Stepping down from the clouds, it glanced at me. Like a falcon that hunts a bird and steals it away, it captured me and flew back to infinite space. As I looked for myself, I could not find me, for my body had become all soul in the tenderness of love. The nine spheres of heaven dissolved in that moon as the ship of my existence drowned in the sea of love. Yeah, girl, this is the year where you finally let go, so... It's a year of reflection. Let go of all that you don't want in your life anymore. And it's time to just move on into a new way of being. I got one. Think. Do you want me to say? Oh, yeah. No, hold on. I was just going to say, I'm so sorry that I didn't have the microphones on before. I hope you were able to hear us, but I'm not redoing this video <laughs> if you couldn't. Well, I'll say before I get into my nitty gritty of things that 2023 was the year of learning and 2024 mm. is the year of applying. Right. So we'll just start that off right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show the cards, see what's up. What's good for 2024? I want to get, I want to say an amen to that. I was listening to John Asaraf the other day, and I don't know if you, you all know who he is, but he was one of the main characters in the movie, The Secret. Um, and while 
he firmly believes in the law of attraction and all of us here do there's also the law of goya that is what i'm going to tell you what that means in a second so hold on to your britches um that's what taja just told you goya get off your ass <laughs> <laughs> exactly and not just get off your ass but also be proud of yourself which is literally what this card says last quarter moon in taurus can you put that closer to yeah. the camera like I said, 2023 was a year of learning. 2024 is a year of applying. But that doesn't mean that you can't show yourself gentleness in the lessons that you have learned. And that's also been a common theme. Not even just for me, but a lot of people that I have talked to. So, like, you may have bumped your ass a few times in 2023, which is real. But also show yourself grace and show yourself kindness. And that you made it through that shit. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I forgot. I don't know if we're allowed to cuss or not. But, yeah. all right, well, we're here. Um, so, yeah. And just get ready to embrace 2024 and the beautiful things that it has in store for you because you've come a long way and you deserve it so i say amen i find a lot of times that we step on our own toes and don't think that we don't because we definitely do we find ourselves in our own readings and we step on our own toes in the readings so y'all do you find it hard to be proud of yourself mm. Mm -hmm. weirdly yeah Weirdly, really yeah. Congratulate myself and appreciate myself. Yeah. Girl, yeah. It's real easy for us to down ourselves, but for some reason, it's like real hard for us to just show ourselves some love and embrace ourselves for some reason. It's our society, too. Yeah. Correct. Social um, constructs as well. Because, uh, you know, I'll, I'll think, uh, I'll look back on what, and, and then I'll look back on the things that. Um, in the short time that I've known both of you and how you've grown and, and, and the things that they've dealt with in their personal lives. And I'm like, they did the damn thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it is hard to be proud of our, about be proud of ourselves. Sometimes I really like that card. Yes. Okay, I've got goosebumps actually. Okay, so I already had an idea of what I wanted to talk at you about, um, but let me let me draw a, a rune card, a rune oracle card, and um, see if spirit has anything to add um, to my idea. Well, this is actually really interesting, um, fascinating actually, because I've got the um, the the card Yggdrasil for those of you, you know. And every culture has some type of world tree, so don't be getting all up in your britches if you're not a Norse, um, if you don't follow Norse um, mythology or Norse uh, practitioner. Every culture has some type of. Uh, or spiritual path has some type of world tree, um, but in Yggdrasil there were nine worlds. Didn't you just mention the nine levels of heaven or oh, something? Ah, yes, uh, so spirits like I got jokes for y'all. I'm going to do a little confirmation. Okay. Um, so what I wanted to talk about is as you are going into Yule, your winter solstice, you're going into winter, which is a, you said you're, you feel like you're sitting on the bench. The yep. winter season is the time when you kind of want to bench a lot of physical activity and we're preparing um, for the new um, the new year. So, <coughs> excuse me, um, as you're going into 2024, we don't want to start this on 2024. You want to be ready. You want to hit the ground running. So go ahead and start working on this. You have time. Don't don't productively procrastinate like I like to do sometimes. Productively procrastinate. <coughs> yeah. You'll like, you'll put off the major task and then you'll go clean out your refrigerator or something. You'll move. You, yes. I moved I furniture yes. a few minutes ago instead of sitting down and doing computer work. So anyway, um, what I would like for you to do is think about um, spiritually, emotionally, physically, the life, the environment, the people that you would like to cultivate and curate, surround yourself with in 2024. Start making moves in that direction. How do you do that? See, I hate when people tell me, well, let's make moves in that direction or <coughs> let go of what no longer serves you well that sounds all great and everything in theory but wh how yeah how yeah. give me yeah. some action i need a verb i need a verb yes. yeah okay <coughs> well here is your action declutter the very first thing you need to do is get rid of shit okay i'm gonna tell you two things to get rid of one is people okay right, yeah. and i know that i'm a scorpio i know i am and I can get all in my judgy, judgy pants, okay? But this isn't judging, okay? We are observing and these are facts. If your friends, 
even family, if you look at them and they're in the same place that they've been in the last right. three years, five years. That's a word. If they're not where you're wanting to go, cut them. And cut it's not em. a matter of like you looking down no. on somebody mm -mm. or whatever. But if you have somebody that's talking about the same shit and they're still not putting that work, let it go. Even Snoop Dogg, I love him. Yes, I he do. is. He he's he's so he's so sexy. He um, is. He <laughs> is. <laughs> and I know he's married. No disrespect. No disrespect. Um, but he even talks about the gap. Go look up that interview with him where he talks about the gap between friends and family. And he's like, you can't close the gap between um, the, like where your friends and family are by you coming down in levels. They, they need to rise up to meet you. Okay. So that's the very first thing you need to, to do is look at the people in your life. The last year or two years, I have had to significantly distance. I didn't say anything about burning bridges. I didn't say anything about being disrespectful. I said distance. Okay. So there were some people that I needed to distance myself from. Because today, if I were to like look them up on social media or text them or something, they're doing the same thing. They're running their business in the exact same way. They look the same way. Their brand, their aesthetic is the same. Um, their credit score is probably the same. Right. <laughs> oh, that was ugly the right there. <laughs> Everything the same. But that's not what I'm about. I'm in my season of growth. So if you're in your season of growth, look, you cannot um, be around people that aren't growing. They will, they will choke you. Okay, the other thing is clean up your damn house. Clean up your damn space. Yes. Okay, feng shui. You cannot have moving energy in you if you're in a space where the energy is stuck and stagnant, okay? One of the one of the easiest things you can do to start energy moving within you is to start cleaning. Okay? So go room by room. I didn't, I didn't say you had to be Marie Kondo or anything, but go room by room slowly and start decluttering, getting rid of things. Also, objects have energy. So if you're holding on okay. to that, I don't know, that sweater, that picture, that ring or whatever that that fiance gave you 25 years ago when he broke your heart and ran off with a stripper. Yeah. You don't, why are you doing that? That's Correct. dumb as shit, girl. Yes. Guy, they, oh, no. whatever, let it go. Yes. Now, I didn't say it wasn't going to hurt. Cry your tears. Cry them. Cry. <laughs> but let it go. All right. Declutter your people. Declutter your environment. Your environment is also your cell phone and your computer. And declutter your mind. Declutter your mind. Clean your soul. Yes. All right. Happy Yule. Happy Yule. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Now. Call to action. <laughs> if you want to book your individual sessions with D or Taja, you know what I'm going to say. The link is in the bio. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Y